Okay, now majority of catalog are singles, but in 2021, you received the attention of, of Polo G and Sway Lee. Tell me, what were songs that got their attention and what was your initial reaction when you seen that they were vibing with your music? Man, Polo G was my favorite rapper at the time, you feel me? So it was like, I'm like, shit, like, this, you feel me? This is who I listen to every day. This is who I say the goat in the game and stuff. So <clears throat> I was excited, man, bro. Like, as soon as, as soon as the video hit my phone, to see somebody you look up to call you raw as hell, you know you was doing something right. And then somebody who's super polo, top three in the game. Well, to me, you feel me? So it's like, like bro, he up there. He's saying I'm raw as hell. I feel like I can get there. And then Sway, come on, we all know who Sway is. We yeah. Know Sway the hit man. So it's like, yeah. so many hits and stacks. So uh, I talked to him. I was talking to him on FaceTime. I know his security guard and stuff, Biggs. And he just took the phone. And he just basically was explaining to me the song that Biggs had showed him, bro. And I'm like... He was just telling me, like, you got it, kid. He was like, keep going. Like, he was like, I ain't heard nothing like that before. When he said that, I'm like, I got you. I got to keep going. That was just more, more the motivation. Like, I can still think on that to this day, and that was two years ago. And mm -hmm. I, I'm, let's go. You feel me? So both of them reached out to you directly, or how did that go? Polo reached out to me through a friend. Mm -hmm. I knew some of his friends. Some of his friends was listening to my song already. When they was out in L.A. <clears throat> and just driving around, I guess Polo told him to put on the song again because he had played it for him before. Polo told him to put on the song in the car again. He put it on. And he was like, yeah, this raw as hell. Bro. Okay, that's the clip. Uh, I believe one of the first clips I ever yeah. posted about you or whatever. So it was about the day by day, right? Yeah, yeah, day by okay, day. Okay, yeah, I seen Damn. that. He was sitting in the car and yep. dude was recording me. And he was like, man, dude, raw, man. Yeah. Who was this? Yeah, like, he from Detroit. That's another thing. Everybody be saying that. They be like, he from Detroit. They yeah. be so, so surprised. But after that, yeah, 3-3 three, three had hit me. He had hit me. He was like, oh, yeah, he want to sign you. He going to uh, call you. He was like, uh, we going to call you tomorrow. We still out here moving around for him. I'm like, all right, bet, give me a call. He ain't no calling me. He was like, uh, he just left. He about to catch a flight, but we gonna hit you. <clears throat> we end up, uh, him, I think him and Vez end up ch chopping it up and talking it up. But, uh, nothing really, nothing really ever happened for real, for real. He still, he still told me to keep going. He was like, you, you got this shit. I told him I appreciate that. But just him saying I'm raw as hell was enough motivation for me. I'm like, I appreciate that. So that was pretty much the advice he gave you. Yeah, you, know, you just keep, keep going. going like you got it. Like don't yeah. don't question it or something. Like that. That's the bottom line. At the end of the day, just keep going. Yeah, you fact. know, so you you can't get seen if you want. You ain't keep going. Yeah, you fact. know, so if you ain't out here grinding, being consistent. You know. Yeah. So yeah, that's dope. What about Sway Lee? Did he give you any any advice? Oh uh, yeah, yeah. He he told me that he like don't change my sound. He like don't. He like keep sounding like that. It's different. He was like. Uh, he was like, you got to come in the game like that. If you come in the game and blow and create your own sound, it it damn near come. If you create your own sound, you everything you drop on damn near be a hit to people for real. <laughs> it was real shit. Just like that. That's him. That's that's how he, you feel me? So, yeah, he yeah. just told me to keep being myself, being different from where I'm from. Because he like, I'm telling you, everybody outside of Detroit, everybody that I tell them I'm from Detroit after they hear my music, they be like, you feel me? Cause if you go back and you listen to the other Detroit artists, we you feel me sound totally different. We touched on that too. So do y'all have a personal relationship to this day, or how do that? How did that go? No, I ain't no personal relationship. I got a personal relationship for like they friends, like Sway, uh -huh. Sway Security, and all uh, management. I got a relationship with them. I got a uh, relationship with Three Three and Nineties. That's Polo friends. Yeah, still just being able to have some type of yeah, contact that's... with artists like that. You know, Sway Lee, man, somebody who got a diamond record. <laughs> Polo G, yeah. somebody who been platinum and gold yeah. numerous of times, you know, so yeah, that's but... crazy, you know. So I wanted to get into, you know, the sound and, and the Polo G and everything you said that was kind of like your favorite artist. You know, you, you probably get the comparisons of, that you sound like Polo yeah. G a lot, you know. Do that irritate you or how you feel about that? No, I get I get so many comparisons. I get comparisons to Rowdy, different mm -hmm. comparisons, but no, I don't I don't be taking it none because I don't really be tuning in to what people got to say, bro. I just be moving on my own. I put it out there how I want to do it. I don't really be listening to the outsiders. I don't let them affect what I got going on with me. You feel me? So I be seeing it. Don't, don't get me wrong. I be seeing it, but I don't take no offense to it. Right. And I think if people, you know, they really tapped in, they would see you still do got your own yeah. your own style, you know. So nice. And you versatile, you know. So it ain't just like you just doing that one specific yeah, style. Touch. You still kind of get on some rapping stuff yeah, sometimes, to, to too. Touch so. it on different genres. Yeah. <laughs>